Well, and I, I was reading too in, in the various materials that uh, Chris had sent me mm-hmm. that uh, uh, a lot of themes are ex- seem to be explored in this film, but something that is explored a lot, and I imagine specifically through your character Neil, is uh, this idea of male loneliness and and mm-hmm. um, you know this this situation that a lot of you know whether it's teenage males or young adult males face in their their lives today is struggling like feeling like an outsider Completely. and so i'm wondering if you could speak to to that a little bit how how are those themes prevalent in this film and and also why is it important to to work on a film that that covers this topic well i think what you said um about how it's relevant especially if we would have shot this 2 years ago it would have been, you know, a standalone, you know, loner movie about a guy who's sad. But the fact that it happens post COVID or even during COVID, I think that every single person, whether a celebrity or someone working a nine to five who might have lost it for the first time, hopefully not the first time, but for the first time really had to sit and think and be still. And I think for a lot of people in this world that is so scary to do they don't want to do it they don't want to look into a mirror so they just look at the world through a microscope like this and if it if it's over here or if it's up here you don't see it but i think with the whole covid thing people's periscope opened up and you either sat with your unhappiness and you got used to it and you learn how to deal with it, or you realize that you really can't do this anymore, you know? And it's scary because you hope that you had an upbringing in your personal life that prepared you for loneliness because it's inevitable. It will happen to you in some way, shape, or form. And Neil is someone who wears it on his shoulders at all times, and he's a representation of someone who's never been able to speak up for himself, who's never done anything for himself. And I think um, watching uh, my character's portrayal will hit home, especially in this day um, and age now. Um, and it might happen to someone quietly where they go, shit, man, I, I completely understand what this guy is going through. Or it won't be quietly, but um, I think... Uh, it'll just if it doesn't speak to you then you're dead you know then you you then you really are lying to yourself about what happiness is and what loneliness is and how important it is to accept loneliness you know and how scary it is when you don't accept loneliness the things that can happen to you your your the bridge can kind of start to collapse underneath your feet you know um yeah, yeah. I I think when you were talking about the this relatability factor, I, I think you're absolutely right. Is that some level? Uh, at some level, maybe for some at greater degrees than others, but everyone has experienced some form oh. of loneliness. And I feel like, especially in the time that we're living in with with this pandemic, it's definitely been a a conversation that has been needing to be had. Uh, with yeah. regards to okay, how do we how do we navigate loneliness in our world today, and and also how we navigate that too as the world starts to open back up again as well. Completely, yeah, um, yeah. That was just nicely said, Patrick. Uh, but um, the the thing about this character that Chris wrote so well is that he doesn't have the social skills to defend himself. He doesn't have the confidence to ask for more or ask why this is happening or seek out something else. He's literally shoved into a situation and he can't get out of it. And whether he's lying to himself about um, accepting this new life that he chooses or not, you know, is really fascinating to watch his character kind of unfold. So it's written in a in a very um, relatable way. 